Irish. Am I preferable to silence at last? A rare day. I'm touched. But since you mention it, there has been one on my mind of late. It goes back to my earliest days, when I had little more to do than observe the mortals who passed through our forest. One summer, a local laird of renowned eccentricity chose to sequester himself with a small coterie of kinsmen and followers. The aim of their woodland retreat was to achieve enlightenment through study and discipline. They took oaths to brook no distractions until they became wise men. Distractions? Aye. Women. Drink. Mostly women. As you can imagine, things deteriorated quickly. By autumn, tempers were frayed and wisdom remained in short supply. One day, I watched as the laird and his brother took their hunt. There they found, at the banks of a river, a lady as fair as any they'd left behind. She pleads for their assistance for fear the currents would carry her off if she tried to cross. The laird doesn't miss a beat. He hoists her onto his shoulders, carries her across, sets her down, doffs his cap, and fords back across to his brother, who is dumbfounded, can't even bring himself to speak. The day stretches on, the laird carries on hunting, and his brother quietly gnashes his teeth down to powder. Finally, the dam breaks. Brother, he cries, how could you do it after everything we've sacrificed? How could you break your vow like it was nothing, carrying that lass on your shoulders like you were a Shetland pony? The laird just smiles. Brother, I set that lass down across the river. Tis you that carries her still. <laughs> oh, I got a chuckle. A rare day indeed. <laughs>